Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys. We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! What are we doing? Uh, we're doing contradictions today. No, we're not. Oh, fuck. We're doing you're always wrong. But I'm also always right, remember? That's not the important part. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we are doing contradictions and you're always wrong. Mm. The best game ever. Mm, Yeah. Over the book of Nehemiah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Let's uh, let's go have me be right. Wrong. <laughs> okay. So, um, keep in mind a couple things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. First of all, Nehemiah only had thirteen chapters. Right. Right. Okay. Short book. So it was a very short book. Not as short as Ezra, which only had ten. Right. But still. Well, but here's the thing. I like this series because mm-hmm. someone can go back and be like, you know, what's the short version, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, if you're just trying to catch up on, like, what was the fuck-ups of the Bible, right? Mm-hmm. You can go back and you can listen to these for each book and you're like, oh, yeah, that was kind of screwy. Yeah. You know? That's, yep. I like it personally for my own reference. No, yeah. I just, know? I'm just putting it out there that um, this was a short book. Yeah. So... Toward that end, there weren't a whole lot of contradictions. Got it. Got okay? it. Yeah. Um, from the list that I'm using, there were only 22. Okay. Which we're going to skip some of them. 17 of them started off with how many offspring did so-and-so have? <laughs> and we don't care because we don't even remember who so-and-so yeah, was. That's a big no. For all 17 of those. Yeah. I don't know who those people are. Got it. So okay? if my math is correct, that leaves five. So one question started out with how much gold did so-and-so pay somebody? Again, so now we're down to four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was one question about where Moses received the Ten Commandments, and it was either Mount Sinai or Mount Horeb, but we already disregarded that one because we decided that those are very likely the same mountain. Okay. I don't know if you recall that, but... When you bring it up, yeah, I kind of vaguely remember talking about that. Yeah, so. so... Scratch that one. Sure. So okay. that brings us down to three. There was one question about a begat. Oh, God. Who so begat so-and-so. So we're down to two? Mm-hmm. Oh, my we God. Two. Two yes. fucking contradictions. But I, I drew it out because I wanted to make sure that, yeah. you know, you were excited about it these was two. probably because Nehemiah was so full of his fucking self that he didn't have time for contradictions. Probably. I'm just saying. You actually know both of these. Do, But I'm, I'm still wrong. Well, you have to pick one of the answers, so oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> of course. So here's one of the two questions. Okay, all right. Did any Moabite enter the congregation of the Lord? Yes. Yes. Who? Well, um, there there was, I mean, there was the Moabite that was married to Moses. Mm-hmm. And also, um, before they came back, they were commingling. So the, some of those Moabites were probably in the in there when before was it Nehemiah came yeah, back and, and was like, like stop commingling. Some like um, converted. Right, right. So those are two yeses. Now the one that was pointed out was per Ruth because oh, yeah. remember Ruth was a Moabite woman. And David is the great grandson of Ruth. Right. Yet he was the king of Israel, which is the highest ranking member of the, quote, 
congregation yeah, so of like, the Lord. That's why the, this whole fucking commingling thing. I'm like, you guys Get don't even your know your own soul. fucking history. Yeah, exactly. In your own goddamn book. It's so important to you to know who descended from whom and yet. Right. You miss the whole point of <laughs> your fucking saying all those names. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, but unfortunately, even though those are true, you're always wrong. Oh, fuck. Because per Deuteronomy and Nehemiah, no, you're no oh. Moabites allowed. Okay. No. All right. Stop. Yeah. There will be no Moabites in, None, up huh? in here. Okay. None. Okay. Got it. So just depends so I was, on. I was fucking wrong. You were wrong. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Here's the other one. And again, you know this one. Yeah. Did Balaam curse the Israelites? I'm <laughs> I'm going to go with no. Okay, so no, according to the book of Numbers, Balaam refused to curse the um, Israelites, right, yeah. which you pointed out. Yeah. Okay? However, I'm you're... still pissed. Hold on, I'm still pissed off. They, those fuckers <laughs> killed him. You remember? Yeah. Remember how they killed him? Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck? He didn't he didn't he didn't curse you." Right. And then you go and kill his ass. That was according to the book of Numbers. Yeah, I know. Okay? Yeah. But you're always wrong. That was I like that. That was a good sound there. Mm -hmm, you like mm -hmm. pulled that one out a little bit. I did. You know? I did. I was trying to get a little yeah, vibrato yeah, going. Right. Yeah. So incorrect. Okay. Um, the answer is yes. Because according to Deuteronomy, Balaam was hired to curse the Israelites. And then in the book I don't of deny Nehemiah, that. Balaam cursed the Israelites, but God turned his curse into a blessing. I just, I don't recall that ever actually happening. Like he got sent to these other mountains to try it but it was never said that he actually cursed them well according to nehemiah he he did okay so whatever fuck off. whatever so you're always wrong i'm always thing, wrong because you can cherry pick anything it's in the true bible. you know that's that's what really pisses me off about the bible is that there is so much that you could just uh, you you can take anything and be like no it was this way and i'm like yeah but that's you're kind of missing the point guys because yeah because it can be this way and that way mm-hmm you're always wrong. And that's the, <laughs> that's what the point of this series is. Right, yeah. And and that's with me disregarding the stupid ones. Right. Because I'm sorry, but who was so-and-so's parents? Like, who cares? Who yeah. begat so-and-so? But just know that anytime there's begatting or counting or anything, there's always fucking errors. There are always fucking errors. Always fucking errors. Yeah. And a lot which, of them. Which makes sense because these were times before computers and sure. before calculators and people that couldn't read were copying this over so okay i, I get I that give those i don't even care but if you can't get it right just leave that shit out it's not important now anyway <laughs> you know like who gives a fuck especially like why haven't we just edited that crap out like in the modern bible why haven't we edited those things out because they're not important to the story and they're so wrong they put so much wrong in the bible that it's Kind of counterproductive, in my opinion, for a Christian to leave that shit in there. I totally agree, but but it's who in am there, I? right? I'm just a we're, we're no heathen. Nehemiah or yeah, you know Ezra or nope. David. I'm just a heathen in my pajamas in my living room. Or witch of Endor. I'm no witch of Endor. No witch of Endor. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, I guess I recently said I'm no Jane Austen. Why, why did you <laughs> I was say that? writing something. Um, for this thing I'm writing. Yeah. And uh, um, I was talking about her writing and how she has a particular habit that I'm not going to mention that in her writing that I also ascribe to. And so I said, I'm no Jane Austen, but I too do this thing. Got it. Got it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So well, I'm that no was... Witch of Endor and I'm no Jane Austen. That's fair. Point. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. So... Am I ready to wrap up? Yeah, you're All right, sorry. I just thought I did try to do it. This is the third sorry. time now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't hit the mark there very well. We, we did it yeah. wrong. So try that, it again. That was the end of the Contradictions episode for Nehemiah. Sure as fuck was. And that is it for Nehemiah. Well, yes well, and no. Yes and no. But for now. Because we're going to do a, our next Patreon episode, which will be a week from... This um, Sunday. Yeah. Um, so not today. Two weeks from when we're recording. But a week from... We're recording... Today's not Sunday. Oh, you're right. It's Monday. Yeah. Okay, just don't listen to me. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, in about two weeks, we'll be yeah. we'll be covering the Estras. Right, yeah. Which yeah. is sort of, um, you know, Nehemiah adjacent. Yeah, I was just going to say it's 
It's Ezra, Nehemiah, and Jason. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for getting through this book with us. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow Mm -hmm. starting a new book, which will be... Esther, Chapter 1. All right. We'll see you then. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.